I just bought these Nike Metcons in this thrift store. And I paid $25, and that might sound like a lot of money, but it actually goes on to sell for 70 bucks on eBay. Nice. When you put it into the e-profit calculator, I should be able to make close to $30 on these shoes. We're trying to find stuff like this today. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're doing really well. It's a trip to the thrift. We're back for yet another year, and I'm pretty excited about what we've got in store for this video. So stick around, should be a fun one, guys. Let's jump into the thrift and see what we can get. Geez, it feels good to be back on the hunt with you guys. Well, we've got some clothing items to take through here and I'm kicking things off with an absolute banger. Have a look at this. We've got a vintage Cricket Australia jersey and it can go for some decent money. So do look out for that one. Los Angeles Lakers as well. We've got the long sleeve here, really nice top size, large and $6 worth of a price point. I'll take it. I've also got this one as well. It's a vintage style uh, Calter Football Club jersey or, or long sleeve jumper, I really should say. It's a size small. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. Really nice uh, back piece as well so should turn into about $30 just a notable mention here as well with the Dallas Cowboys tee didn't end up picking it up for four bucks thought it might have been a slow mover but nonetheless how about that for a set of clothing also found this as well Instagram viewer poll question I'm asking the guys on my Instagram throughout the day today if I should pick things up this one's $35 let me know what you would do there the shoes well they never disappoint for me we've got the Nike Air Max Thiers right here 15 bucks I usually sell them for about 60 as you're seeing there in the comps. So that is gonna be a really good grab. And then another pair that I love to sell, the Nike Metcons. You're talking a good 60, 70 bucks for these every single time. So for $15, no worries. A couple of really creepy clowns there. We'll keep moving on. The Hedgehog, I've found these as well. This one sells for $18 in the DVDs. And Forensic Investigators. This is an absolute bolo, guys. A $100 DVD found in the first run. Some really interesting results around the uh, Harry Potter books for the Instagram view poll question. A lot of you guys actually said to go ahead and pick them up. And look, for good reason. There's some unbelievable comps for the Harry Potter book series. But for me, there were two reasons why I didn't go ahead and pick them up. Well, actually three. The first one, it wasn't a complete series. The second one, I checked and there weren't any first editions, which is where the value lies. And the third one is, I'm not actually selling books anymore. So I don't know why I was in that section. Fast start to op shop run number two. Check out these two absolute beauties. We've got the New York Rangers NHL zip up jumper with the Rangers embroidered on the back, if you don't mind. And I've also got a New York Giants Pro-Line NFL Series windbreaker jacket here as well. An absolute beauty, size large, until I saw the price point. $45 that was, guys. I can't be doing that in any op shop. I found these as well. Now, this is the Pirelli Tires hat. Now, the racing hats, the podium hats that the racing drivers will wear uh, when they win their championship. So, they go for about 45 bucks. And then the Red Bull hats here as well. I'm not saying that I'm going to get $250 like you're seeing there, but the Red Bull hats are sought after. So that is an absolute ripping grab for four bucks. This one was brand new and it had first embroidered on the side of the hat. So that might even be worth a bit more than the $45 comps we were seeing. This one as well, a very, very interesting scenario here. This is the Wii uh, console accessories of the, of the tennis racket and the golf club. And there's a comp that I just sold for $35 as I was leaving the store, so maybe I should have picked those up. This one though was an Instagram viewer poll question. We've got the Scarpa Gore-Tex hiking boots. Really interested to get your thoughts on whether you would have bought these for 20 bucks. Um, they were in pretty good condition and I was liking the look of them. Hey guys, I always leave an item for the end of the video, the 30% clubbers, and right now I've just spied myself the item that I'm gonna save for you guys. So I don't know about you, but I've never heard of the brand Scarpa before, but I have heard of Gore-Tex, and Gore-Tex tells me quality. So 20 bucks, I thought those pair of hiking shoes might have been a pretty good gamble to go with, even though the sell-through rate wasn't that great on eBay. You've always got to pay attention to your sell-through rates as much as what the item actually goes on to sell for. So you guys have actually said to go ahead and pick them up, which gave me a hell of a lot more confidence. I was probably going to go ahead and do it anyway, but I'm going to shoot for about 95 maybe 100 bucks for these free posts. And off a $20 purchase, that's going to be a pretty good result. Always nice to pay a visit to Mr. David Smith himself. Guys, if you're doing clothing, David Smith is a very good brand to be selling on eBay. We've got a $7 price point here and they sell for upwards of 50. Happy to grab it. Also got these here as well, Thrills. Now, these are a really good pair of shorts. Uh, they are the chopped men's shorts. You're seeing black denim there. Uh, $6 purchase price and uh, they will sell for about $35. So that was a good little pickup as well. Oh God, the problem with the plush. We are back for yet another week, guys. And I found one right here. We've got Bear 
in the big blue house goes for five dollars let me know in the comments if you used to watch that one as a kid growing up i know i certainly did so i'm happy to grab him um, also jumped into the shoe section now for eight dollars this is an absolute steal the brand is keen these shoes are in light new condition i will quickly say they are a size four and i don't typically buy the smaller sizes but let's give that a go i uh, also got these as well another really good hiking shoe brand we've done pretty well on the hiking shoes today ten dollar purchase price here with these ones i'm gonna pick them up the brand is merrill look out for it now these shoes $65, they're almost eBay pricing, but how good are they? And then we've got the Hoka One Ones as well, almost my favorite shoe to find in the thrift. We've got a $60 price point on those. So unfortunately, I couldn't move with them, but I did want to put them into the video because they are just such good shoes. Um, how about, that? this is a really good brand as well, actually, Burton. Now this is from my uh, snowboarding days over in Canada. I used to ride with uh, the Burton gear all the time. Uh, really good brand, very high end, should do really well with that one. And then we've got the Champion hoodie as well for five bucks i've gone ahead and picked that up so hey pretty good little run there too now some of you may be watching this and you're quite new to the channel you've watched a few videos you might be even here for the very first time and that's pretty exciting i did notice that only 47 percent of you guys watching are subscribed to the channel so it'd be a really great time now at this part of the video to go ahead and hit that button for me we're slowly building over 6,000 subs things are going along really well and it'd be great to get you on board for the ride well guys, it's the last op shop run of the day, but we've got some absolute bangers here. The Chicago Cubs 1990 All-Star Game, fully embroidered and single stitch. It was 20 bucks, guys. You're probably gonna hate me, but I've actually left that one behind. I've also got an Alice Cooper tee here for $20. Very expensive items for a single item of clothing, so I have had to pass, but how cool is that? This one here, though, it really got me. This was a 1992 Looney Tunes. There it is right there, you can see it. Uh, we've got a Pepe Le t-shirt here it's in great condition and it is single stitch as well so for 20 bucks let me know what you would do with that one there how about this for some vintage as well it just continues we've got the jaws 3 vhs quite a lot of uh, vhs tapes that you're seeing here we've got rocky 3 as well look there was actually quite a lot that were comping up pretty decently on ebay but a lot of these were priced at around about 15 dollars so i couldn't really do it speaking of couldn't really do it i couldn't do these either the echelon sevens uh, the sacconis um, they actually comp up for some really good money on eBay, about $85 I was seeing for one comp, but $25 for these shoes with a low sell-through rate, even though they were in great condition. Oh geez, I'm probably talking myself, I should have bought them actually. Um, also got these as well, the Flintstones, season one, $8, just too much money for a DVD. Just some quality items today at slightly expensive price points. Couldn't go ahead with the Simpsons here either at $6 a piece, just too much money to be investing into DVDs. You need to be finding them for a dollar. And then this as well, I thought I'd struggle gold with this massive tub of Duffy DVDs and then I'll see it priced at nine bucks. Oh. So I ended up buying that Pepe Le Pew vintage tea. It was pretty cool, 92. You guys actually said to go ahead and grab it. And I'm kind of glad that you did because it's in excellent condition, really cool design, 1992 written on the bottom there. So who knows what it will sell for, but I'm just happy to have it for 20 bucks. But that's not the last item in this video. Remember how I said I was gonna save something until the end of the video for the 30% club, the guys that stick around to the end of the videos? Well, I've got this one right here for you. SpongeBob SquarePants on DVD. I've got six seasons worth here and the comps on eBay are ridiculous. And I actually didn't realize it was gonna be worth this much. I spent $4 a piece, I paid up. 24 bucks, but I reckon I can turn it into about $80. So it's definitely gonna be worthwhile. Not uncommon for you to be able to find these DVDs for one or $2 in your thrift store. So definitely keep that on your bolo list and keep DVDs in general on your bolo list because it is just some of them are worth so much money as you've seen in this video today. Geez, it's been fun to be back doing these trips to the thrift videos. I did a year and a half straight, 18 months straight. And then the last three weeks not doing them, I felt really strange. So awesome to have you back. Thanks very much for tuning in. We're gonna be back again on Sunday for a flea market video. And I'm gonna leave you with the video right here which is all things dvds because it's just such a great category to play in thanks for being here guys we'll see you soon